Hi, my name is Casca, and I am back with another haul video. This time, I went to Bath & Body Works. Now that October is behind us, it is time to start our holiday shopping, and about every week now, Bath & Body Works will start offering really amazing once a year sales. So every Saturday, there will be something probably special on sale. And this is a two-part haul video. One was from a Monday sale and one was from today, this morning, which was Saturday. So let me show you what I got. So on Monday, they had a shower gel sale. It, no, actually it wasn't just shower gel. It was all body care of the Shimmer something line. It's kind of like holiday traditions, but the packaging is a little bit more just wintery so I am a shower gel girl pretty much all of the body wash that I use is from Bath and Body Works and I always suck up when there's a sale so the sale was $5.95 I think for all the body care so I got four shower gels and I will show you the scents the first one I got winter candy apple this is usually a scent that I stay away from because there is usually something in it that as soon as when I smell it, it just smells very odd. And I don't like it. But this year when I smelled it, it smells like they have removed whatever that was and it smells really nice. For those of you who don't know Winter Candy Apple, the notes are red apple, winter rose petals, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. Maybe that's what the smell is that I usually don't like. Maybe the cinnamon used to be stronger. I swear it smells different this year. Let me know in the comments if you think it smells different too. My next scent, I'm going with the classic. I want, I'm going to show you the classics first and then I will show you two new scents. Vanilla Bean Noel and in the shimmer line, it looks like this. So they went with a gold. Vanilla Bean Noel is usually green and gold, so this one's just gold. It's really pretty. Cute. It smells amazing as always. It smells exactly the same. It just brings me back to all those wonderful Christmas memories. It's just so sweet and caramely and vanilla. Oh, it's so wonderful. Now the next two that I got are new scents. We'll start out with Snowy Morning. This one has lavender in it. Frosted bergamot, mistletoe berry, and snow kiss lavender. This is a brand new scent as far as I know. I remember the winter collections pretty well from last year. And this smells brand new to me. Let me know if it's repackaged, I'm not sure. But I really don't think it is. It smells really nice, I love lavender, and this is just really, really fresh and clean and light. It smells really nice. This next scent is also new, Coconut Mint Drop. Now when I first read this scent title, I was like, hmm, that sounds like a repackage of Frosted Coconut Snowball, but it's not. This has mint in it, and I don't think Frosted Coconut Snowball did. Or if it did, it was very light. But this one, you can really smell the mint. Oh, it smells, it just smells very, very minty. I don't really smell coconut at all, which for me is a good thing because usually I do not like any coconut Bath & Body Works scents. I don't know what it is about their coconut Scents, there's also something about them that just really, as soon as I smell it, I'm like, nope. It doesn't really smell like coconut to me. It smells very artificial, and I don't like it. So, when I smelled this, I was very pleasantly surprised. What it really smells to me, if you told me that this was mint chocolate chip, I would say, yeah, that's exactly what it smells like to me. It just says winter musk, coconut, and iced peppermint. It's also very nice. Love the color. 
excited to try this one. So besides the shower gel, I also picked up two other things. On that day, they also had wallflowers on sale for $3.50, I believe, so I just needed one little refill. I only have one place in my entire apartment where I can really have a wallflower plug-in because I have a toddler who unplugs them. And that's not good because this, the oil can drip right out and that would not be something that you want your toddler to get into. Or your furniture for that matter because this will literally eat the paint off of like anything so that's not good. So I really only have one place to plug in my wallflower, so I only need one refill at a time, and mine is dry now, so I got pumpkin pecan waffles because it just smells so delicious and wonderful. I didn't even really take a chance to look at the selection that they had. I just saw this and was like, yeah, I know I'm gonna like it. And the last thing that I got from this day is a pocket back holder. Well, actually, it's two. Two little unicorns that kiss each other on the nose. This has been out for a while now and I've been meaning to buy it because I collect unicorns. But it's $10 for something that I definitely don't need. But since it has been out for so long, I'm afraid that it's not going to come back and then I'm really going to regret it. So I just went ahead and got it and one is going to be for me and one's going to be for my daughter. So I'm going to put one on her little either diaper bag or her little school book bag and then I'm going to put one on my purse, I guess. They're just really cute. I have another unicorn pocket bag holder, but it's more of just like the classic like holder shape with the unicorn silhouette on it. These are actually the shape of the heads. So that's why the detail of them is just a little bit better. And then like it has like a little tassel continuing down the mane. These ones are a lot cuter, I think. So now I need to let my daughter pick out which one she wants for her little bag. <laughs> the second part of this haul is from today. And it is mostly, oh, da 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 bath fizzies this is something for that bath and body works has been selling for about a year now and i've always wanted to try them but they are a little bit too pricey for my taste i like lush these are almost about the same price as lush they're each seven dollars but they as far as i can tell so far they don't offer any of the benefits lush does they're pretty much just all the standard like pressed powder balls with fragrance so I I wasn't ever impressed or intrigued enough to actually spend the money on them but today they were on sale for $3.50 which is excellent and I had a 10 off 30 coupon so by my math I could buy eight for $28 add a little two dollar item on top of that use my 10 off 30 and you're getting a really good deal so I'm going to show you all the scents I got this first one is called I Wish. Some of these Bath Fizzy scents names are only Bath Fizzy scent names, if that makes sense. I guess they kind of just wanted to have like fun little phrases and the actual scent says Summer Skies. It doesn't give any fragrance notes. But this does smell very nice and I like this one because it has a little bit of extra crunch crunch sprinkle thing happening up here so I was like hmm, that looks like it might be nice now I was reading the reviews for these on the website last night to see how people were really liking these and the reviews were very mixed and there were a lot of low bad reviews they were saying that it was overall disappointing experience. A lot of complaints were that the fragrances were very, very light. It didn't really change the color of the bath water and that they hardly fizzed at all. So I'm interested to see how these are gonna work. And I, with that in mind, I tried to buy scents that were very fragrant. That one is, as soon as you can 
really smell it. It just smells very perfumey, so I'm hoping that I will actually get a nice fragrant experience when I use it in my bath. The next one is Twisted Peppermint. Ah, it smells so good. Just peppermint and vanilla. And now I'm thinking, why did I not get this in the shower gel? I'm wondering if they had it. Hmm. Have it eventually, probably. Next one, Love and Sunshine. I just love this fragrance. This one doesn't smell like it's going to be too fragrant. But we'll see. And this one's just a plain powder. There's really nothing else going on. Let's see. The Twisted Peppermint one looks like there's a little bit of something happening. A little bit of something, something. One of the things I love about Lush so much is that each bath bomb offers a truly unique experience, whether it's the way that it colors your water or if there's like special additives to make your bath better. Moving right along, this next one's Lavender Sugar. I actually picked up two of this scent because one of my friends loves lavender as well and I want to share one with her. Well, I'm going to give one to her so we can share the experience that is bath fizzies. <laughs> This one's also for a friend, specific person in mind when I saw this one. This is Winter Candy Apple, and it looks like it's just plain, plain powder. The lavender sugar one has something, a nice, like, speckled. I'm wondering how that's going to dissolve, if it's going to leave anything behind. Make a pretty, pretty bath water. <clears throat> Magic in the Air is my next one, and there's also something going on in this one. I love Magic in the Air. It is one of my favorite all-time scents, even though it was just released last year. It just smells so warm and cozy. Vanilla, almond. It's so nice. Pretty as a peach. Has some speckling also. I love this scent. Never mind, it's very summery, but it's just so pretty. Eucalyptus spearmint. Oh, it's so nice. This is like when you have a really stressful day and you just need to really unwind. This also has some kind of speckling. I'm so excited. I'm going to use one of these right after. Who knows? I might even record a little bit. Thousand Wishes. Now this one is very, very fragrant. Also has nice little gold crunchy things happening up here. I really need to learn my bath bomb terminology because I have no idea what to call like any of this. This is usually a scent that I do not buy. I like the way it smells, but when it's on me, it's different. So maybe it'll be different in the bath. I really bought it because I had a feeling it was going to be very strong. So I wanted to experiment with stronger fragrances and lighter and see how everything would differ. So today I did two separate transactions. My first was eight bath bombs and then I bought a Clearance, 50% off, Vampire Blood Hand Cream made it $2, which was an even 30, and then 10 off was $20. So I was feeling pretty good about myself. I love Vampire Blood. This was in my October Favorites video, which if you haven't watched, you should check that out. There's some other Bath & Works products in that too. But I just love this one. I'm almost out of my other hand cream that's right over there. So I thought, oh, I'll have a backup. And I don't even care that it says vampire, I'll use it all year round because that's how much I just love the scent. So after I made that purchase, I got one of these beautiful
beautiful, beautiful, handy dandy coupon books. And one of them had a coupon that was free full size body care item with any purchase. That purchase was a pocket bag. Unicorn water is the scent. Now, it's actually magical melon. I can't, it all smells like alcohol to me until I actually like rub it in and the alcohol lifts and then it leaves behind a nice smell. So let's see what it really smells like. I don't know if it's mixing with like another lotion that was already on me or my hand soap, but it smells very masculine, like surprisingly masculine. And it's very confusing, but it smells nice. I'm sure what I'm smelling is not actually its scent. Anyway, it's super cute. I like this unicorn pocket bag because unlike other unicorn pocket bag scents, this one doesn't have glitter, it's just very basic looking, which is kind of cool to me. So, with my coupon for my free body care item, I got a Vanilla Bean Noel body cream, and I am just in love with this packaging. It is so cute. It's so retro. It's just so Christmassy and beautiful and it smells so nice and I just remembered the coupon that I used to get this didn't come from one of these booklets I don't want to confuse anybody out there that coupon I received in the mail so just wanted to clarify if anybody got confused like how oh, come I didn't get that coupon in my Christmas gift shop guide yeah, I will show you what comes in this. The first one is free item of your choice with $10 purchase. The second is 10 off 30. The third is a free bath busy. And the last one is free aromatherapy. Now, one of these you can use now. The next one starts the 13th. The one after that starts the 27th. And one of the very last one is December 4th. So they just really keep them going all the way through the holidays. And like I said, from now until Christmas, Bath and Body Works every Saturday, they will have like an insanely once a year type deal. And this Saturday was back busy. Who knows what next Saturday will be? I can tell you right now that from years previous, there is usually a $3 body lotion day and then there's like a really great shower gel day there will probably be like a $250, $275 wallflower day and then there's candle day which is usually the first Saturday in September and I, I think last year the candles were $8.50 I can't remember for sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Everything I've probably said is wrong. I, it's really hard for me to keep up with Bath & Body Works. The prices change like three times every year, go up a few cents here and there. At least with like the pocket backs, I know for sure. It seems like they're always changing their price. I am really excited for this Christmas season. And now I have some scents that will get me in the mood. So ready to go buy a Christmas tree. We're getting a new Christmas tree this year. And I can't decide whether or not I want green or silver or white. I kind of want them all, but I am going to have to decide on one. I think I am mostly torn between white and silver. Let me know what you think I should go with. Much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. If you really loved it, you can go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to do more haul videos, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.